what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm talking about jeepers creepers 4 in this video here again today jeepers creepers were born we'll also be talking about cloverfield and this sequel that's coming up scream 6 and we'll be talking about my thoughts on chucky season 2 because i've seen the first couple of episodes or a few episodes got to see it last week but just to dive on in with jeepers creepers 4 so a few folks were confused about jeepers creepers 4 being a sequel or not i did videos to confirm this and yet when me and many of you watched it last week it definitely was not as clear as the props we found made it appear one thing that wasn't helping was the fact that the post puncher that taggart owns is being missed by people because it's off in the distance and never shown again plus it wasn't even in a barn that the creepers crawling out of but more of a again broken down brick house that was supposed to be taggart's barn and then chase denounced the other three movies as just films within this world so then timo shout out to you as blakey because you sent the screenshot to me he answered a fan talking about this and i know i tried to i talked about this in another video but i left out the screenshot so here goes the screenshot for you guys to finally read he answered a fan and explained what what's going on with this movie and as far as his interpretation timo's interpretation is just how the movie made it seem by going over this screenshot but the movie again didn't overly flaunt this it again is a sequel to jeepers creepers 2 a long overdue sequel but they can actually take this back and throw it away no one no one wants to watch this again I'm, i mean somebody out there does but not not me and many of you <laughs> so those first three movies what he says in this screenshot is yes those first three movies were turned into actual movies in this world and we know this of course just helped the creepers name become bigger and this is probably also how chase became known of the creeper because he's a fan of those movies this is just nothing but a very cheap meta aspect that definitely wasn't necessary that original movie admittedly has some meta to it uh, and some self-awareness but this movie, Jeepers Creepers 4, was better at trying to be a poorly made Scream movie than Jeepers Creepers, and that, that's another big problem with it. The, the meta stuff was unnecessary, really, as far as like how it was executed anyway, but there you go. This was a sequel to Jeepers Creepers 2. It's not something that's a complete reboot as much as it is they just completely neglect to confirm or really hone it in that it's a sequel to the second movie because of how so much is overlooked after the creeper escapes and people are missing things like the post puncher but just to jump into cloverfield the cloverfield sequel that was previously announced might actually end up being a cloverfield sequel this time because we know we have a universe of movies at this point um it seems that picked up some momentum we have I believe it's pronounced Babic. I might be mispronouncing these, but Babic and Anvari. Babic and Vari will direct this project with Joe Barton pinning the script. The deadline report that came out last week stated it's unknown how this new installment will link to its predecessors, whether it's straight sequel to the original or an anthology piece that is set in the Cloverfield universe. Now, I recall in 2008 thinking Cloverfield was one of the most insane things I had ever seen. And I think Paranormal Activity had come out the year after or just the year prior. So I had like two found footage movies I was telling everyone about during that time. I haven't watched Cloverfield in a while, but it's definitely time to revisit it and all the craziness that went on in New York with that monster. Now, 10 Cloverfield Lane, that was incredible. I won't bother to even go into the paradox, that Netflix movie, because that that was not it. Um, that's another movie they can take back. You can keep that. Throw it away. And I always wanted a true sequel to that first movie, even though it's not necessary so i do look forward to seeing what happens here with this new cloverfield movie because i know in a lot of ways i've seen people compare cloverfield with a quiet place and you know i i would love to see maybe i've seen people even i remember when the quiet place came out people were like this is another cloverfield movie so hopefully this is not something where I, well, what I went to say was I'm glad we don't have something going on where we're kind of guessing or not whether it's a Cloverfield movie. I hope we find out this is that first true sequel to that 2008 movie, and I hope that's what it ends up being. But just to jump into Scream 6, Scream 6's Jack Champion may have had their name confirmed by the user Clips underscore Comprehend on Twitter. Now, for those of you who aren't aware... This is a user that's been sharing tidbits about the upcoming film for a while. I did a video about him many months ago earlier in the year, and I don't know how his name never really gained any traction until just recently during the summer. But 
Some trust the account and others don't buy buy what they're saying, but they claim that Jack Champion's character's name is Ethan Alar. Now, Ethan Alar's description, according to clips, apparently includes someone who is awkward, smart, and wants college to be the opposite of high school. He lets loose under the influence, but doesn't deal with rejection all that well. Now, Ethan's cold name, according to this other breakdown I'm thinking of, I did a video on also, his cold name might have been Eric. That description for Eric is giving me the same energy that Ethan's description is coming in from clips. Ethan, or what I meant to say was Eric's description mentions him being shy, geeky, nervous in social settings, especially around the opposite sex. That sounds very reminiscent in a lot of ways to what we are being told is Ethan's role. So we'll learn how true this stuff is because honestly, the IMDb page, it has character names listed, but now we've potentially been provided with details on who Ethan is at least. So we'll see how all of this ends up playing out when we start to find out more things about Scream 6 as the March 31st release date nears. So Clips also did say that they would be dropping character names daily going forward. So we'll see how true that ends up being from them. And they also did kind of hint at the fact that we should expect something in October related to a small teaser. We could get our first teaser in October too. I'm predicting that would be nothing more than something attached with that Scream 2 re-release. And for everyone that's like, oh, how can they have a teaser when the movie just got done filming? Again, teasers don't have to be what you what you might be envisioning it's a teaser it can be something that's a minute long again in the style of what the scream 3 teaser was like text over the screen haunting music maybe some sort of visuals that allude to ghostface that's all you need and a few quick cuts of stuff that's been edited from scream 6 there's your teaser you'll get your trailer when they're done editing the movie and ready to present it to us closer to the march release date but jumping into chucky season 2 now, these are just brief thoughts because I can't say anything until the full embargo lifts on the 26th before I do a complete review. But what I'm going to say is that this might end up being better than season one if it keeps up what I've been seeing from the first few episodes. Again, I don't want to get too specific, but there's several improvements compared to season one performance wise, writing wise when it relates to the characters, while still being filled with nods to the child's play entries that came before this. So season two so far is proving that the television format for the child's play series might be something they need to stick to. But I still would ultimately love to see one last Chucky film from Don Mancini. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.